he's above it all. You know, he's he's got his place in life. He's got his little apartment. He's got his animals, and and uh, he's just cool. You know, he's just there. He's happy with what he's got. And he, he's not one of these strivers. I'm so out there in this movie. But that's what people expect from me. So, so I'm like out of the gate. I'm giving them exactly what they expect. It's like Fire Marshal Bill times ten. I have definite ideas of how how I see things, and and you know, luckily Tom and I get on together well, and we you know he's he's open to my thoughts and stuff, and he has the ultimate say. But you know, it's uh, I am such a good powder. Ace is in a place where life is just a bowl of cherries and fun, and he he just uh, goes off and has his own little tangents. And I mean, he's the kid in the, that that you can't discipline. You just cannot discipline him, you know, because he, he. But he is a good person. But he's like he's a he's a wild man. He talks to the animals. He sees things like five miles away. He, you know, I mean, he's not super powered. He's just Ace Ventura, pet detective. My character fits in the film because I work for the Dolphins. I'm the head of PR for the Miami Dolphins. It's about two weeks before the Super Bowl, and someone came and stole Snowflake, which is the mascot for the Dolphins. It's always there on the field, and it's a pretty big, important part. Um, and uh, I'm about to get fired, so I'm, I'm here to find this dolphin, so I hire a pet detective, kind of as a last resort. I mean, who would think pet detective? But... We hire uh, Ace Ventura, and then my character fits in because I become his love interest. This is probably the most fun that I've, I've had working on any job. And I, I, I'm, I'm the type of person that can't stand to go on location. I've actually had a great time down here. I mean, it's just, it's fun. He cracks me up from the time I come into work to the time I leave. You know, she's never met anyone like this before, so obviously he's such a nut that, that there's some attraction there. And he does come up with some really goofy stuff. And he's fun. I mean, she leads a, very, leads a very straight life, so to meet someone like Ace and have her world turn upside down is... Jim Carrey, who's really the most ridiculous person you have ever seen in your life because he's very over the top and very talented, very much like a, like a, a rubber face. His face is just is all over the place. He always does these faces that are really incredible. And uh, while the rest of us are going, being very straight, he's really out there he's like one of the guys on the inside who kind of understands ace a little bit you know because ace is like out there you know he's a kind of a strange cat and i'm kind of like his little inside scoop i'm the man he comes to all the time and he's kind of always hassling me getting me in trouble you know what i'm saying going back and forth but we have a good rapport with each other you know Dan is cool, you know what I'm saying? I, I had a chance to kick it, throw the ball around with him. He's, he's real cool, because I like Dan. I've been checking Dan out for a while anyways, so it's not like I wasn't a, a Dan Marino fan. I actually like him, great spiral. He's real cool, down to earth. That's the main thing I like about it around here, is, is that everybody, there's no head tripping. First time he got me, you know, because he threw one of those uh, you know, he threw one of those out at me, you know what I'm saying? And I'm like, whoa, wait a minute here. <laughs> you can't be doing that kind of thing, you know, when I'm trying to get my my actorial skills on, you know what I mean? You can't throw that look at me, you know. Yeah, it's kind of tough acting, you know, and, and, and being yourself. I mean, it's it's real tough for me because I've been trying to, uh, you know, look in the mirror in the, mornings, in the morning and finding out, you know, how I'm going to act that particular day. And uh, so it's, it's, it is a stretch, but you know, I'm dealing with it. It's been a good experience for me, and, I, and I'm enjoying it. I am. Uh, it's, I'm learning a lot. Uh, just, and that's, that's the neat thing about it. They say don't work with animals and children. And uh, I have uh, about 50 animals in this show and Jim Carrey. So I think that pretty much says it, says it all. Ace Ventura is a pet detective. He finds people's lost pets for a living. So... Uh, Right there you have a context for lunacy. And he is basically Jim Carrey on stage. Jim is a real up, dangerous, turns it on personality. And that's the personality he brought to this character, Ace Ventura. I don't want to restrain him. You know, you don't cover the Mona Lisa. You don't put arms back on the Venus de Milo. You let it go, you know. So, so we're letting Jim go.